Alright guys, you already know by the title, it's gonna be legit video. Less than $10 brushes, dupes from Real Techniques. Let me just say right off the bat that these are a dupes. They probably look alike, but feel different. They're dupes, right? You guys already know that they're not gonna, I mean, if you wanted the same thing, might as well go buy you a $25 brush. Okay, I'm here to help. Anyway, welcome to my channel. This is Paris Love. If you guys don't know already, I do underground makeup and fashion products. I did end up buying these brushes on my lonesome. Well, I did it. My baby did it, but <laughs> I'm a pimp. The handle is plastic. It's not heavy like the original RT brushes. Right off the bat, you'll know that you'll know when you get them. On the upside is that the top, it looks like metal and it's pretty heavy. You know the part that actually grabs the bristles together? Pretty badass. I'm pretty amazing. So let's just get started because I don't like to over talk. Okay, so the first one is the Arch Powder Brush. This one is actually $21 for one brush, let alone you guys already know that this seven brushes were for less than $10. This works so amazing. I don't know if you guys know about Jacqueline Hill I mean if you're in the beauty industry we all know her she uses like a Tom Ford I think it is like a real like huge face brush it reminds me so much of that she uses this crap to bronze up the face I could just say it could be the exact same dupe for that brush anyway this one is used for loose powders I used it today to actually bronze up my face I mean if I was legit that means this is okay it is tapered on top so if you really want to get that contour depending how you hold it you will get that really nice blended contour because you don't want to have like sharpness everywhere and then kill everybody all right this brush is very unique this one's called the triangle foundation it's flat in all the edges very very nice tapered brush as well i do not use this for foundation it is to contour around your under eye and around your nose it is very very beautiful to blend out that concealer and actually get in those tight edges around the eye you could spritz this with some fix plus or my l'oreal toner and it really does blend out the shadow beautifully this one is for 19 dollars i do enjoy this one and the cool part about this is that they're really soft bristle wise and they're really pretty they're really beautiful honestly they're legit pretty hot and i was really scared to use them because depending on the powders that you use god damn it Seriously, I seriously thought that the concealer or bright shadows that I would use with this brush would really stain the brushes. Depending on the soap you use, I use the Sephora soap. It works pretty legit. The next one is the Oval Shadow Brush. This one runs for $13. This one is very, very light. This one does not have the metal part at the edge. The first two do. This one doesn't, unfortunately. This one's all plastic all around. This one, as you can see, I used it today. Oh my bad. I had to refilm this crap, right? I had to refilm this. So it is sturdy, but the bristles are white. This does pick up so much product, so you do have to be careful when you take it off because it does pick up that much. This is a seamless blending brush, and it works extremely well. You could actually use this to contour your nose, and because this one is so soft, it does blend very seamlessly, as stated in the Real Techniques website. And this one is just one of my faves. Hey, babe. It's legit. The next one is the pointed crease. This one is for $13. This one really packs on the crease. If you do have a very, very small crease or no crease, whatsoever i really like this to do shadows on the auto v or to do a really nice smoky crease because i have no crease whatsoever this one does pick up again so much product and it is plastic all around it's not metal like the first two but it works really well it is a very nice dome shape it is sort of semi-tapered you could actually also use this as a inner corner highlight to do that pop of color where it's seamlessly seamless it's legit. This one is an angled liner. It is for $13 as well. It's plastic all around. does not have the metal thing. I think because these are not big and the brush size, they're not metal. You could use this as a liner. You could use this for your brows. I like these little brushes because you could have so many ways to use this. I did use this to do my gel liner and as you can see, it is not stained whatsoever. I used this a few times doing that. The bristles are fairly long, so I really do enjoy working around my brows, especially if I really want that light brow ombre look but i do have my favorites on the side if you're a pro you know what to do with it and these last two are legit two of my freaking favorite brushes of all time i reach for them all time the first one is this tapered 
blush brush. This one runs for $20 or $19. It reminds me so much of the Morphe E49 brush. This one, you could blend out your concealer, set your under eye. I think I have some powder because now it's in my eye. It works exactly the same as this one. It is pretty amazing in the quality that they these both hold and share together. They're just different bristles. That's all the difference that there is, which bristles are really important when you work with different kinds of powders, but this works really, really incredible. This does pick up a lot of product and it blends so well if you're using powders to set the under eye or to even bake the under eye. I'm having heart palpitations because this brush is so bomb. When you use it for blush, it works really incredible because it is tapered so you can use that tapered side to actually get a pointed little nice blended blush. This brush is just amazing you guys. It has multiple uses and I really do recommend just getting the set because of these last two brushes. And the last one is this flat contour brush. This one runs for $21. It is metal on the edges. Best contour brush there is. It does sharpen up the contour really, really easily. You could use this as a contour brush and to clean up that contour if you messed up like somewhere along the lines. This brush is just amazing in all shapes, ways, and forms. Especially if you guys are a beginner. If you guys want multiple uses for brushes, this set is it. This brush is just amazing. It has it all. I am just in love with this pillow. I did end up getting these from Amazon. If you guys are interested, it does take several weeks. It takes up to two to three weeks to get these. But you know what? In my opinion, they are 100% worth it. Worth my three weeks of wait because these brushes are bomb a diggity. And I'll have a link for these brushes down below if you guys are interested. And any other questions, let me know. And don't forget to subscribe and share this video. Bye.